This is pretty. What can I bite that won't look weird? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm starting a new series that I'm going to be calling Bite Size Reviews. I was incredibly inspired by LS's Sample Sunday videos, which you'll see from here. Most of this is her idea. Basically, what I have is way too many makeup samples. Not just makeup, also skincare and other, you know, beauty items, but I have, I actually have a whole drawer of these items. Naive Monica was like, save those. When you travel, you'll use them and you'll like them because they're pre-packaged, you could throw away the packaging and it'll be so much easier. But A, I haven't traveled a whole lot in the last year, year and a half, and B, when I did travel, I actually just brought all of my full-size products with me. I wasn't reaching for any of the stuff, even though I had all of this supposedly travel-ready stuff right here to go. <sighs> so ultimately, the last trip that I took, which was a weekend trip with my best friend, encouraged me to start using these in my everyday life because obviously I'm not saving them for travel like I thought I was. I'm not quite sure how often I'm going to be doing this series. Most likely every other week right now. I don't think I could go through these products fast enough to do them once a week. And I already have a once a week series, which is the weekly wish list or washout. So I'm not sure if I want to throw in another weekly one. I might just do this whenever I actually use up all the products that I've picked out for the week before. So since this is the first video of this series, I thought I would start out with two products that were sample size that I've already finished and just give you my reviews of those. And then we'll go ahead and pick out the next five. I'm going to pick five because these are various sizes and various items and I think five would be a good place to start. If I think I can go through more before the next like video checkup, I'll go ahead and add more by the next video. So before we jump into the video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like this new series idea and you can't wait to see any more bite-sized reviews in the future. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video. So the two samples that I've already used up are one primer and one concealer. The primer I have is the Porefessional Pearl Primer. The concealer I have is the Benefit Boing Erase, well it used to be called Erase Paste, now it's called the Boing Airbrush Concealer in the shade number two. The Porefessional Pearl Primer, I actually really wasn't impressed by. I found myself really liking the Dr. Brandt Primer instead of this one. I'm glad I bought the mini instead of the full size because I definitely don't like this as much as their original Porefessional. And even then, I have a drugstore pore concealer primer that I like a lot more and that is the Revlon pore concealer. So honestly I would recommend you get the Revlon one from CVS instead of these professional ones. I mean I think it was good for their brand but it just wasn't good for me. The Benefit Boing Airbrush Concealer I actually love. I used up the entirety of it. This is actually the free sample I got from Sephora online. Like if you used one of their like discount codes at checkout you got this sample for free. I used the sample for months as an under eye concealer, color corrector, and I just now ran out of it. Like I'm pretty sure I bought this before Christmas and it was, and now it's like April and I just now ran out of this. So in all honesty, I would recommend getting the sample of this product because they give you so much. I wonder if they put it on here. They give you 1.6 grams in here. That's a lot of product if you're using it as an under eye concealer. I don't know what else you would use this as, but as an under eye concealer, I used it almost every day and it lasted me months. The full size of this product is actually kind of crazy for a concealer. It's like that big, that big. <laughs> I saw it in store and I was shocked because I thought like when I got the sample, I was like, this is like the full size thing, right? No, this is the sample. The full size thing is just, just, just gigantic. So I don't know if I would actually recommend getting the full size when you can get months of use out of the sample size that they give. So this is still available. I'd recommend you get the sample of it. If not, go into a Sephora, go into an Ulta and just ask for a sample of this and see if it works well with your skin, see if you like it. It's like a nice dark salmon color corrector for your under eyes, which works great with my super dark circles. And I really enjoyed this. I actually got another sample 
the same size as this one. So I'm going to be working through that one. I don't have any plans to buy the full size of this in the foreseeable future. Okay, so now that we've gone through the two products that I've actually used up, we're going to pick five new products for me to use, and then I'll give you those reviews in the next video. So I'm just going to like hold this up and let's not look, Monica. Okay, so technically these were like stuck together as like little sample cards, but I'll take both. Okay, so the first one is the Le Lift firming anti-wrinkle cream from Chanel. I guess it's kind of all in the title. It's supposed to be anti-wrinkle cream. I'll probably be using it under my eyes, but I'll give you the review once I've used it up next video. The next product is the 24 karat gold pure luxury lift and firm prism cream from Peter Thomas Roth. That's a bit intense. <laughs> for a cream, but I'm assuming it's the same thing. Okay, let's see, it says, maybe used all over the face and body or as a targeted highlighter. Kind of thought this was mostly, skin, you know, skincare, but okay. To highlight face, apply desired amount to fingertips and blend into cheekbones, brow bones, bridge of the nose and temples. Highlight body by applying to decollete, shoulders and legs. Okay, so I'm assuming, like I thought it was skincare, but I guess it's a highlighter. So I'm gonna try it as a highlighter and I'll get back to you guys the next video about how it worked out. Okay, next one, we got three products to go. Okay, the next one's a hair product. This is the Living Proof TBD Multitasking Styler. It's a styling cream to tame and groom. Apply a small amount of dry hair and smooth with hands. Or you could use it as a blowout cream. You can use it to apply to damp hair, comb through, and blow dry using a brush. So I'll probably use this as a blow dry cream because I do blow dry and straighten my hair. I just posted a video all about how I blow dry and straighten my super curly hair. So if you missed that, I'll throw it up in the cards. Okay, two more to go. Two more to go. Let me just pick both of them and then we'll go through. So this is... This is number one. I'll go through. I'm not gonna look, I swear. And this is number two. Okay. Ooh, okay. So number one is the Hydra Life Fresh Hydration Sorbet Cream from Dior, another skincare product. It doesn't have any instructions for use, but I'm assuming it's just a normal moisturizer. I don't know if you would use this in the morning or at night. So I'll try it out and then let you guys know what I think of it in the next video. And our last product is the Clinique Stay Matte Oil-Free Makeup for Dry to Combination Oily Skin. That is my skin type. I am combination. I lean more towards dry skin on the perimeter of my face and I get very oily, not even in my T-zone, just on my nose. So this looks like it is in the shade Neutral. I'm not sure how the shade is going to work. It's supposed to be a foundation. I'll definitely try it out and then let you guys know what I think of it in the next video in this series. Okay, so we have all of our samples that we're going to be trying out. I'm going to do my best to finish all of them and then do the next video once I've finished all of them so I can give you a review on all the products. And then we can pick the next ones from my gigantic drawer of makeup and skincare samples. So if you like this idea and the series, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you're notified whenever I post a new video. And I hope I'll see you in my next one. Bye!